My name is Guy Oliver from Louisville, Kentucky. 5'9", pro dunker. I got my first dunk when I was like 13. I was about 5'6". I was in seventh grade, and I just came out and was boom. Craziest thing ever was at track practice. Just threw, threw myself a self lot went up, boom. I can just keep doing this in eighth grade. I'm crazy. Ninth grade, I just kept going. My best moment of dunking would probably be about a year ago, I hit a between the legs off the backboard, it went viral. It was in game two, between the legs off the backboard, and just cocked it back, boom, in the game. First found out about Oliver, I think the way everybody else did, I saw him on Instagram, he uh, threw it off the backboard, dunked on some kid, and he just went like crazy viral. So the story behind me having one eye is I got shot when I was a kid. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think I was born with it, so they immediately assume. But I was shot when I was two with a BB gun. I can really see just like what everybody else can see, just out of uh, one perspective, basically. So I can do just about everything anybody else does. I just do it a different way, make it look better. I think it's amazing, and it's got to be super inspiring to a lot of people. It's crazy that he has one eye, and he is still one of the best dunkers on the planet. I would compare myself to Vince Carter. <laughs> That's a, a lot of my power comes from him, style comes from him, everything. 360 wheel mill, if you've seen it, look at his videos and look at mine. I got my signature, it'll probably be my Statue of Liberty 360. I think we can do it, but a lot of people can't do it like this. My most effective uh, exercise for dunking would probably be dumbbell lunges into a lunge jump. It more so helps on your like your quads, helps you explode from your, your quad or your, your calf muscle as well. And you also gotta have your ankle build as well, so I do a lot of ankle workouts. Cause I'm more, I'm more so focused on my mechanics and making sure I, I'm able to explode the way I need to explode. I know I can dunk, that's the thing. Like, I know I can dunk. So it's, it's more so a mind of a matter thing. The best dunk from Oliver today, he like just floated and punched a lob windmill. And it's, it's like, you know, people don't know, like, they're like, oh, it's a windmill. But you can make windmills look like different. And he made it look a lot different than everybody else's. Like, he just like floated, hung there, checked to see what time it was, and then just punched the windmill. In the dunk game now, one of the pro dunkers that I look up to the most would be Chris Staples. In his style of dunking, we have just about the same type of style. So I look, I look to him when I need advice to do like certain dunks, and as well as like getting involved with certain things and keeping my mind right. My biggest dunk inspiration would have to be Zach Levine or Joe Green. Them dudes know how to fly. I feel like the dunking community is getting way better and I love it. I love the atmosphere. A lot of people are starting to like really like jump, jump towards it. Like a lot of people are learning like basketball might not be for me, but I can still be a part of the basketball community by dunking. My short term goals would be just to, to capitalize on all my dunks that I know I can do and just make them just look effortless at all times. Some of my long term goals would be to reach a 60 inch vertical, but right now I'm at 50. So I want to reach 60, break a human record and world record. Then also just being on ESPN and doing something great. In the future for Oliver, I see him doing well. And I think social media wise, he's going to do great because he's smaller and it's inspiring to a lot of people and people are going to follow him. I think if he works on his consistency, that he can end up being you know, one of the top 10 guys in the game. He's got the hard part out of the way. The dude jumps 48, 50 inches in the air. Just work on his arsenal and get consistent. Future holds a lot, a lot of air for me. Anti-gravity, that's all I see.
Thanks for watching my episode of Duck Diaries. You can follow me on Instagram at Oliver Twist, no iron and twist. Also subscribe to Whistle Sports and Team Fight Brothers.